All right, here we go. We're in the first set. Got another mic in case you want. We're in the first set. This is Qualifier, Huntington Beach, California. Nick, Pat, Ian, Shafe. Here we go. First serve, and there's the look away. There's the wrist away to start the first match. Thank you for having me in your living room, along with Gene Dolan. I am Jason DeVeas. I'm going to turn down the volume on my mic so I don't have to yell. I had a mic overload issues and I couldn't figure out why. And I'm like, actually, you, the problem was an easy fix. You just turned down the volume on the camera. Cool. So we can unravel that for you, Mr. Dolan. Oh, right into our living room. There's going to be a lot of them coming this way, so I'll be ready to, to touch it. Score is... We got 1-1, one, one, guys. 1-up. One <laughs> Shafe is um, much improved this year. Had a whole bunch of injuries, right? There it is. That's good. Yeah. You can pin that anywhere you want. I'm going to pin this. There's the block that's two hits. Yeah, he knows. Sometimes you gotta let it ride. But I love how intense Nick is. It's like it's two. Two one. Nick intense? No. Nick. So once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us in your living room. Along with Gene Dolan, I'm Jason DeBiss. We are south of the pier, Huntington Beach, California. In this qualifier second round match. Shafe, Ian, Pat, Nick. Ian Carlson coming fresh off that mother load win. Serves into the net. Scores now 3-2. I think both teams here had two first round easy matches that were somewhat easier. Yeah. Nick is just, he's pretty fresh. He's just an incredible athlete. I think he's one of the top blockers, period. Yeah. AVP, main draw, I don't care. He's, still, he's a great, great blocker. That ball just hits the line and now the score is... I missed the score. What's the switch, guys? Shafe, what, score? 3-4. Uh, three 3-4, four. Three four. Three four. Four. Yeah. gotcha. Sorry about that. Now I got score. I got the one job to do. Oh, just no, just the one job. I think you're right. Talking a little bit about his blocking. Um, it's not just the discipline. There's a... Um, it's personal. It's like his personal space. If you get a ball by him, it's like it's personal yeah. to him. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got great vision at the net. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's also good at reading the hitter. Like the last, the previous match, whenever the hitter loaded up, um, he was early, and and, and and whenever the hitter's body language showed shot, he did a, something we call wait and late. Mm -hmm. The question is, who's Schaefer going to serve? Look out, right into our living room. Nice, let me see if I can do a skill, still camera on this. And perfect. APF lock, we are locked in, coach. Scores 5-3. If there's one thing, oh, wow, there's an ace. If there's one thing I'd like to keep an eye on with Nick and the end and there, um, Serve receive. Sometimes they get a little careless on on how they finish the pass. So something we'll keep an eye on, Coach. You know, we always talk about the pass, Jason, and we that's like an element, a very very strong element of the game. But the 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 real atomic level is going to always be that first lateral step. That's the thing that we always have. That's the thing that we fail to work on all the time. Yeah, you, you see guys doing their speed drills and they're going up and back and, and it, it just, it's that lateral step. That's the most important step. That's the most fundamental important thing in this game is that first lateral step. Yep. Because if you don't get that lateral step off and you land up crossing your legs, then your hips and shoulders are no longer facing. They're, they're, they're not facing north-south anymore. And you know me, I'm a north-south guy. You are, yeah. 
that ball goes He's over the top out. and timeout is called. Timeout very early in this game. Yeah. That's a that's an act. That's a that's a sign of desperation right there. Well, desperation came because I thought they waited a little too long to call timeout. We have a general rule like if you give three up three points, in a row, three in a row is, yeah. is typically they're, they're, and they're some of the younger teams. Um, why don't you guys grab this chair? Take this chair. Since I housed your chair, so. Cool. Thanks. Nick Nick's like, I don't need no water. Let it burn. <laughs> you see his muscles? That guy doesn't yes. need a Got, Give me a score check. Is it 8-3? Yeah. 8-3, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so you're right about um, north-south. Uh, definitely support and co-sign that. Yeah. And also, if, if you have to do a cross server step for your one move to the ball, that's also problematic, right? There are some people... Who you know who are trying to get in front of the ball, and there's some people that are just angle angle. Well, that's passes. why we take that inside step first yeah. instead of the outside step, because when you take that outside step and you don't get there, that's mm -hmm. when you have to cross over. Yeah. So I like the little inside, the short inside step first, and then the glide to the outside. That gives you like at least another three or four feet mm -hmm. of coverage without crossing your legs. All right. It's tough to teach because most people just they're not used to it. Yeah, it's tough to teach on the beach too, right? Yeah. You'll see more midlining indoor because with a three-passer system, sometimes four with the serve to space, right? It, it is keeping the ball in front of you is, is instrumental too. There's a basket catch dig, but to no avail and stopping the bleeding, at least for now, is Ian Carlson. Yeah, I coached Ian a couple of times last summer. Two summers ago, actually, yes. Ian uh, out of Arizona. Arizona, yes. He's actually at our ASU right now. I told him to go see Brad Keenan, man. Brad, I want to text Brad Keenan and say I know a guy if you're looking for an assistant coach, you know? One more thing about uh, the blocker, about, about Nick's block. He's very, very disciplined. He doesn't go ball. He just shrinks the court for his defender. Very, very disciplined. And he really makes that court small for his defender. He really does. That's a uh, switch, guys. 5-9. I mean, obviously, if he gets if he gets an on set in front of him, he's got to go ball. But 100% agree. I'm going to move the camera a little bit more this way, just to get a little bit more court, and that's it. We are good to go. The score is five nine. Still in the early stages of this game, it wasn't like like you said their previous matches, which we both agree were are relatively relatively easy. I actually did stats on the first match. Um, Nick had eight blocks by the technical timeout, so yeah. that was a testament to how skewed the level of competition was on that. Scores now 10-5, and they stay balanced like this. I expect to see this team in the main draw. That, on tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you know the qualifier, right? As the rounds uh, get deeper, so this is a competition, and, and some of those playing games look like all look like main draw worthy um, uh, contest. Nick, uh, Nick could work on his serve on the off season. <laughs> it's kind of a clunky, clumsy approach, and it's different every time. Yeah. There's also some teams I don't even think you need to serve that that, that tough to beat. No. Oh man, he almost landed right on top of that. Man, what's that? There's a ball on court, and the, oh, yeah, the guy's yeah, yeah. jump serve. Yeah. That was so dangerously close, dude. Six ten. One a piece off the switch. That ball's out of bounds. Now the lead is five. That's two service errors in a row by Ian. I mean, you got to serve hard against this team, but you've also got to you got to keep that ball in. And that's three apiece. This match moving yeah, at, but when you're way at, up, at a very fast when pace. When you're way up, it doesn't matter. I mean, no. you, just basically trade up, huh? Yeah, just trade up. Yeah. A lot of balls on court. Qualifier is a bit of a mess. There's a jump floated to the middle. Handles okay by Pat. Pat on the joust, and he who goes second wins. <laughs> I always teach my kids, you know, if you're going to joust, go second. Yeah. 
against a big block like this, the other team, Ian, he's got to be start thinking about more shot-centric plays. Because that block is just too big. Nice hold on the platform by Ian. There's the up and down set right into our living room. Gets dug. Pat, transition. Looking for 13, not yet. They go to Schaefer. No. Dig. Who's going to blink? There's the block. A little bit of a staring contest on the coverage. Usually husband and wife is serve receive, but in this one it's block. That moment where they look at you look at your partner, the he looks back at you and you see love. Ball, ball, yeah. Yeah, pure love. Go for it. All you need is like the back the Marvin Gaye background music. <laughs> that ball trickles into the tape and that is the technical timeout. A comfortable commanding 13 to 8 lead by the heavy favorites. Three out serves in a row now by Ian. Yeah. And that's tough, right? Because you want to compete, but at the same time, you, you can't miss. That's called pressure. Well, you can't let them walk off the court without expending any energy at right. all. But you're all, at the same time, you don't want to serve a lollipop that gives them an extra rep that gives them more momentum, too. So, so you know what I call it when you're asked to serve tough and, and not miss? It's called pressure. <laughs> it's it's got to be able to do that. Scott, which um, court are you on next? Right here. Oh, here, cool. And and against? Um, Frank Field and something parent. Oh, classes. yeah. I don't know. I don't know parent. I don't know parent, but I know Field. I know Frank yeah. Uh, Did he do um? He qualified Manhattan, yeah, right? He beat um sure. that late game against yeah, Burek and game of the day. Yep. exciting as. Oh, oh man, exciting as hell, dude. Ow! I uh, like crashed there. Uh, crashed their win and like all the boys came over and we were like giving them hugs and stuff. Oh, you're the one that gave them the Goldberg spear? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like he turns around, spear, Goldberg. All right, we're back from the technical timeout. 13-8. Uh, there's the dirty old man. Jim McNamee's in the house. Steve, Steve Kahn. Steve Kahn on a carnivore diet, man. Looking, looking slim, Steve. Nice. It is a stash life by John Schwengel. Twins. Yeah. Twins. Yes. What? So we got um. 14-8. We missed the play on that, but that was well worth it. That was a Steve Kahn, John Schwengel moment. Nice set, nice balance on the outside, That's a nice and shotty. there's nice a shot. jump That's in. That's the one that he needs. Cut back. Much needed side out. Turning lemons into lemonade on that set is Schaefer. Partner gave him a little bit of room to work with, too. You know, that little offset really set that up nice. <laughs> Is a servant to the net, and, and like you said, that is a much needed um, thing to happen. It has to be competitive and in. And, and like you said, they can take turns missing serves all the way to the end, all the way with the result they won't like. There's the back set, and that ball just out of bounds. And when it rains, it pours, coach. Yeah, you wonder what their confidence level is here. They just can't wait to get through this game so that they can get to the next. But they have to establish their position on the court first before they do that. They got to use the rest of this game to figure out their offense here. You have to go on that. There's a good dig and wow. Up and down on the set. Shafe. That's got to be it. Beautiful That's read on the four it. block switch. Now the score is. In your to, line. They get to double digits. Yeah, your line is um 
Shafe, your line is out. That one over there. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I was going to say, that's a whole lot of real estate you don't want to be given an already good team. <laughs> That ball is just out of bounds. They're going to take a look, but I if he says what I think he is, I think he just missed. I got it. Got wow, that ball's in. Shows what I know. <laughs> I thought it was out. I thought they looked at the wrong line, the wrong, wrong ball mark. Anyways, yeah, okay, so one for five now. Yeah, you could tell by the toss on that one that that was going to be a hot mess. And there's your switch, there's 17-11. We don't see it on the camera. <laughs> Once again, Ian Carlson playing some of his best volleyball on, at the Motherload. The Motherload in Aspen, Colorado. He won that, right? Yeah. High altitude. Um, everybody else is huffing and puffing, but he he was just fine. He was swimming in waters that he can, he can um, breathe in. Lars Bassey was a, a local, mm -hmm. a local that's used to playing in that, that climate, used to playing in that sand. Home field advantage. Mark Bjork didn't look like a, the best version of himself, and Jeff Samuels did not look happy about that loss, but... But I wonder if I'm um, overestimating that because Jeff will, Jeff doesn't look happy even when he wins. <laughs> you know, he, you'll see a smile here and there, but he, yeah. but like when you watch him play, it looks like what he looks like. I'm not saying how he feels. What he looks like is he'd rather be anywhere else but there. Yeah. There's the on two. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Schaefer and Carlson to solidify some type of an offensive approach here for them going into the next game. They have to do that. They've got to get their serves in. They've they've got to find their shots against that block. Set off. It starts with the pass, though. Like you said, you want to figure out offense. The first, the, all of their first contacts are going like 15, 20 feet off the net. Mm -hmm. And though Schaefer is a good setter, what, what, it, what happens is he's losing a lot of his court vision. The other thing I like to see him do is cover. You, you know um, um, Amato is a blocking machine right now. And there's an ace. And that's a, and that's a 20 to 12. Set point opportunity number one. Is that 20? Shit, I, I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Killing with the jump serve and wow. And finishing the same way he started. And there's that competitive Spartan from 300 luck. There's the end of the first set in convincing fashion. Pat, Nick. Hilling, Shit, Nick, Amato, cruising. Here's How you doing, sir? Doing good so far. Steve, are you um? Playing John Kramer next. What? Playing John next. Yeah, they they won their first one, 1816. Are you on a carnivore diet right now? Serious question. Are you on a carnivore diet, like steak, uh, like meat only, steak, salmon, or whatever? Diet. Diet. Are you on a carnivore diet right now? Carnivore, like meat. steak, meat. just meat, meat only? Okay. I was just curious because you look good right now, dude. Okay. Got rid of that joint pain too, right? Got rid of that muscle stiffness and that joint pain? Yes. You look... You look terrific, dude. I speak for everybody, everyone on this beach. We love you and you look terrific, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's gonna happen. All these kids, they're gonna get a little bit older, and you're still gonna look just like my high school science teacher. You're still gonna look like that. <laughs> yes, 
Cool beans, though. No, I was curious. Where's your Yankee at? Oh, there it is. This, oh, it's go, it. this, it's under, this yeah. may go quick. Huh? This is probably uh, not no, go I'm to coaching three. juniors for uh, LA Volleyball Club, and we have a tournament, so. Jason Olive is the uh, program director. And good, good guy to get in with. Jason. Yeah. He's a brother from another mother. Yeah. I met He was doing All My Children in New York. That's where I met him, actually. Yeah. Is that Jordan over there? Mm -hmm. Is that Jordan over there? Uh, I don't know. Chang? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, that's him. That is him, in fact. Yeah. All right, here we are at the beginning of the second set. Wow. Ooh, no touch. OT, How do you no not touch. touch that? How do you, you, you? Field goal, no touch? Field goal. Um, uh, yeah. He got up way off the ground, so the field goal went no, between the thumbs. Yeah, I don't know. In theory, that's supposed to hit the thumbs, right? But yeah. he got up high enough, it went OT, or he's lying, or he's full of it about the touch. <laughs> Does a left shoulder serve and bringing it back. There's the block. And once again, no cover. And that's the difference in some of these matches. When you're compete setting, you got to make sure you're the first one there at the scene of the crime to cover. Just basic, you know, basic uh, big boy stuff. Got Kurt Topple warming up. He's playing with Duncan Budinger here in the qualifier. Oh, no Nick touch. creating his string out of the middle, and now they're on the board. Scores one two. That really messed up the seating because Topple had like no points, mm -hmm. and Budinger had good points, and so they were like a they were like a forty something seed, I believe, forty two seed in the qualifier. It's a very good team. You are the most That's where it has to be, shot centric, Jason. And a back set helps. I think when you have someone that's getting a ton of blocks like, like Nick is, and he's stationary and his feet are already planted and he's setting on his block, back set, right? Now you gotta change the four block scheme on the defensive switch. So back, I, I say on this, at least on this side, back, back sets galore for, um, for Ian Carlson. And there's a look loading up, and the score is 2-4. You know, that difference, we'll the that difference from hitting 15 feet from the back line to 10 feet from the back line. You know, as guys get older, I mean, they're, they're just not hitting down like that, you know? Yeah. That, that's very, very hard to defend as a defender when, that, when you're lined up perfectly for that ball, and that ball is hitting like 8, 10 feet yeah. from the net. I will say this, though. On the ocean side set, and the way he's creating his approach, creating his string, yeah. he's creating his string in and out. The block has to know that. Yeah. The block has to know he's going to be line heavy and inseam heavy. And um, is that a switch, guys? Score? 4-2. Four two. Four two. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they got a nice little lead here in the yeah. front end, and now they're holding on. They're, they're, they're trading. They're siding out here against the, against the team. They're holding their own. They're starting to get their confidence back. There it is. Shot counts and the foul for the switch. Pat, got a Pat fix your your line. Your realist. Okay, they got it. They got it. Three four is the score, and Pat's got a really good jump serve. His serve to space is wicked right now. And once again, out of system. Lost his court vision, lost sight of the court, and there's the result. Now the score is four up. I think Ian should have handset that ball. Yeah. That was so, a good pass. It was good enough to be handset. Threw his timing off just a little bit. He lost hmm. sense of what he changed his mind on the shot. <laughs> they'll, they'll take it. The key is a serving machine right now. Yeah. Score is five four. Leading by one in the set, but trailing 0-1 in the match. It's Carlson and Schaefer. Oh, no. That ball, like you said, that is his fifth service error. Or is that by your count? You have five to five as well, or four? I have six. You have six. I have six. Jesus. First one this mat, this set, but uh, yeah. five in the first match. Yeah, you got it. 
You're right. Now, now you got to make the uncomfortable choice. Doing what, you, doing what it takes to get it in. Serve. That was an easy serve. Right. They, their confidence is up. They're, they're, they're not, it's not that important for them to serve. That's terrific. Ball's out of bounds and the score is 6 5. No, you can't do that. Nick, you got to get back on your side of the net. That's out. I like how Nick Nick has the BMF walk, the bad bad motherfucker walk. <laughs> I don't know if that's just his uh his chakra nature, like the challenger defender stance, or maybe he's just like by the by the circles on his back. Maybe he just has back uh, back discomfort. <laughs> it's back to back serves out. Yep. And like you said, you can't miss the easy ones. I don't I don't have a problem with you missing competing. Yeah, if you're going hard and you're up yeah. four or five points and you right. miss a serve, you yeah. know, because you're trying to stay, you're trying to stay on the bubble, right. I don't have a problem with that. But when you're down and when you're fighting a t tough game, you got to keep that ball in. There's a block. There's the patience. There's a jump set and Sammy Sosa with the home run. Nick, big smile on his face. Yeah, Nick just avoided the Rita Toolage there. Yeah. I also like that because if someone's trying to joust and if they miss, it's an open hand tip too, you know? We saw, um, is that 8-6 um, eight, eight, switch? Yeah. Those two out serves, I think, really, really hurt him because they had them, up, they had them on their heels and they just gave him a free pass, a free get out of jail card with, with, with two, two bad serves in a row. I remember watching Qatar versus um, Miles Partain and Banesh, and Banesh pulled his hands back on Sharif, and Sharif open-handed it, and I thought it was a great and high IQ move, but the referee didn't give him the call. <laughs> you know, it was, it was very disappointing. Aaron Carlson, big smile on his face, keeping the mood light. And Shafe, this is like, seems like one of the few uh, first seasons he doesn't have any nagging injuries, mm. right? I mean, you always come, you never come into these games 100%. There's no such thing. Not in the end if of you're the an season. elite athlete, Not yeah. Not the end but, of the season. Yeah. But having stuff that severely hampers the things you do well, you know. Those little nuisance, those yeah. little nuisance aches. Yeah. We call them nags. <laughs> maybe, maybe one in your hip, maybe one in your knee, maybe one in your ankle. Another out serve by Ian Carlson. That's going to be the story at this match. Yeah. One it's apiece. Just, it's, it's just, it, it, it's a dick killer. It is. You work hard, you side out, you make a good play, and then you serve out six or seven times. There's a J-hook. Left shoulder serve, bringing it back, and lefty. That ball left balloons out of bounds, and now the score is 10 to 7. I'd like a time out here. I should have two unanswered points, not three, but. Left shoulder serve. There's the four block switch. Nice read and transition. We got a Nemo in the net and side out, it's 810, but. Coach, like you said, if they keep doing these two for ones, they're slowly pulling away. Okay, they're desperate here. They need to go hard. He needs to serve a good, he needs to get a good, strong serve in. There it is. That ball is in, and I don't like that they clung the hope on that one. There was a moment of hesitancy where like hope was a four-letter word. He was praying for that ball to go out. It, Another four-letter word. I don't like four-letter words when it comes to playing defense. I like three-letter words. Dig. I like two-letter words. Go. <laughs> Scores 11-8. And once again, out of system, back in system, the ball's dug. Looking for 12. And again. Wow. That time he approached out and in. Yeah, did you see and how far inside he went before he turned his body on yeah. that? That was really, that yeah. not too many athletes that can do that. Nope. He's feeling good today. This is a team that has um, 
an honest shot at making the draw. I saw it from the beginning. There's the bring back, free ball opportunity. Schaefer, drifter set, creating a string out of the middle. Oh, yes, got it. That's what I like. Technical timeout. I like the shot on the transition ball. You know me, I like 60% on side out balls. I like 60% shots over hits. On transition balls, I like 70 plus percent shots over hits. All right. Hey, we're the side out team though. We just gotta be good in side out. And we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Score is 9-12. Uh, we're, like, we're not a defensive, you know. The uh, previous set was 13-8, so kind of in the, they're kind of in the same in the same boat, still in good shape right now as there's Hilling and D'Amato. Amato, sorry. Great wrist away shot on the right side, transition. Yeah. Yeah. A little off is fine, but I like you. Yeah, yeah, I get you saying. You definitely you definitely want to see them cover. Long, long term for us to be good, I like you. Yeah, we'll see it. It's big, huh? We're back from the technical timeout in this second set. Leading comfortably one set to zero. Amato and Helen. Helen's looking good right now. His set location, his jump serve, his uh, hot read on, on, the, on the shot, on the shot game. His four block, his four block switch. And now, wow, that turn and wrist away yeah, that the, you need a second set, block for. On the quick set, yeah. yeah. He likes tempo. A lot of players don't because they, they feel like their point of contact is lower than their block on penetration. But with that being said, if you, if you, can, if you can run that tempo set high and allow him to reach high, he's in good. Scores 13-9. Ian taking like a little time out to get that ball. He needs to get his head back. I thought that was a very good defensive block by him. Yeah. He just got beat. Yeah, it's just it's just a great swing. Sometimes in in system, good players do good things. Force him to make a, a good play, and he makes a great play. You know. There's the jumbo. There's the recovery, and wow, nice. I think the only caveat, the only thing I'd, I'd like to see him to do a little bit better is to, to cover. Like they're so confident in each, in each other's hitting. Yeah. There's no one at the scene of the crime um, as they continue to compete. Set. 14-9. Just a bit outside. <laughs> the score is... Schaefer and Carlson have lost their confidence in this game. I would expect it to go pretty quick now. Yeah, I see that too right now. Glad I have a chance to watch this match though. I'm at the qualifier right now, and there's a sky ball situation and great placement. There's the high line, and there's over and out. And, out. and if you ever want to invite a team back in, not taking care of the little things, and save the cuteness for, for monkeys and babies. <laughs> Got to play, play some volleyball out here. I expect them to go back to Pat, and they do. Cross court, handles okay. There's a set out of the middle, and once again, what I was talking about before, you don't, find see, their game you, don't see, you don't see the cover. You don't see people at the scene of the crime cover. And like you said, you have a team beat. You, you, rip, you rip the confidence right out of their soul. Um, you don't want to- Give them any glimmer. No. Because what happens is the manufactured confidence is hey, going to turn into real confidence. Hey. There's a line that's switch, good. and that's a play that Schaefer usually has, and um, he'd love to have that one back. Beautiful day. Conditions are really, really nominal. There. It was, it, and it is. This morning I thought would be a little bit more brick and chilly, yeah. Because this is desert weather. It's really cold in the morning, but it was actually okay. It's manageable. I think that this uh, this weather is favoring. Come on, out. Go, 
this, this weather is favoring Nick Amato because maybe he's not the greatest, he doesn't have the greatest skills, but he is a terrific blocker. He really is. He's a tremendous athlete and he's only going to get better. Mm. I'm also very interested to see um, how or if the wind picks up in yeah, the afternoon. Yeah, how, they, how just, they will do in yeah. the wind. Yes, that's exactly my point. At this pace though, right now it's like noon. Like if, if the wind was going to pick up between now and 2 o'clock, that would be the time. Look out! Right into our living room and now within one is Ian Carlson and the Shafe warming up on the other court. We got Duncan Budinger. No, they're 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 in they're into their game. They're into that match. Yep. Duncan and Kurt are into that yeah. match. Yep. It's good to see Kurt out there. I love seeing him play out there. Wow, there's the loser on the shoot set, a loser on the joust, and the, and a game where we were gonna pack our stuff and move on to the next court is now tied. 15 up. They had the same little interruption, they had the same little uh, trouble spot again in the previous match. Oh, and timeout is going to be called. Smart timeout, get, get to this chair as fast as you can. And it was something I said in the beginning of the match, uh, uh, serve, receive. We, and we saw it in the first match that they won easily. Yeah. They, they were a little careless on some of these, um, on these passes. And they're going to Nick with the float serve, and the wind is picking up ever so slightly here, and I think that's making a difference. I also think Nick right now, in his pursuit of the perfect pass, is unwittingly going lower and lower on his pass. And, yeah, and, and, and uh, with, 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 with ball movement, when you go lower and lower, you get yeah. stuck, you get planted. And also the margin for error, your, your guy's diving for the ball if the low pass, if the perfect pass you're looking for doesn't go to the target. So. Yeah. I always teach um, my kids and, and, and adult pros, always make the mistake going higher. I'll take it, I'll take an out of system yes, high yes, pass. Yes, right. Uh, then then inside 10 court, times more than the elegant Inside the low court, one. high. If you're gonna error, error in the, inside the court and high as opposed to low and off the court because nobody's getting that ball. Nope. I did expect them to go right back to him again with the, with the float. Oh wow, that time, middle, a little bit of a J-hook pass. And wow being patient on that and there's the joust up and down and just like that somebody check the forecast in hell it's about to freeze over <laughs> Ian Carlson with the comeback and the serve making up for the man is a wall look, look at this he's serving in all of a sudden he's serving in Carlson once again pursuing his education at Arizona State University I'm like Brad Keenan, head coach of the beach team there. Yeah. Do your job. Hire this man. He's young. Look. He could floor demo. <laughs> right? For some of the some of the women playing there. Brad's doing good things out there too. Okay, so they made a switch out there where um, Nick Amato played inside. So yeah. they switched. And did they go after him? I missed it. Did they go after him on the switch? That's just wow. yeah, that's where it has to be. Nice offset, set that shot up. Yeah. Really, really nice. Also, moving the set helps. You don't want Nick in a stationary position, feet already planted, right? Yeah. Technique solid. Uh, you're, you're, you're basically feeding, feeding the beast. So yeah. back sets, drifter sets out of the middle. Cosine coach. Jump serve come in for the switch. Going right and they are they are going after him. And there's the use. There's 17, 18, and and I'm not sure if they want to continue to go after him. I, I, maybe you just go to the spot. Not on this maybe, side. Yeah. Not, they're not going to go after him on that. No, on this, on this side, side, no. Of side, course yeah. not. They needed to make their run on the other side, and they did. But at LMU, I, I called it the mouse trap. Basically, they switch the player to the um, to the strand side. Yeah. And when you chase them, your serve's not as effective. You become a better passer, a better version of yourself. And next thing you know, you chase someone and you trap, and, and now you got trapped because they, because they're not the weaker passer or weaker hitter anymore. I think so, it's tied up now. 2018, we lost to St. Mary's. A pair of two, which decided the pair is going after a girl. Nick, what's the score? I think it's 18-0. 18-0. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. All right.
Yeah. Into three. And what's turned into a match long marathon is now a sprint to three. Good patience and once again just hold maybe hold this platform a little better. And I'll always err on the side of caution of higher instead of going for the perfect elegant low pass. Well, and, and, and yeah, and, and again, when we get tired, you know, I've, 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 this is always my beef with, you know, top level guys when they get into those later rounds. The passes start to come down and the sets start to come down when they get a little tired. Yep. You have to be self, you have to be able to self diagnose those issues on the court, yeah. especially when it gets later into rounds. Does Pat jump serve here? Does he go after it? I think he has to, yeah. It's been yeah. working. He hasn't had too many problems with that. I say so. Ups up one set to zero. Like you said, a serve that's um, and and the way he finished the first set with the jump serve, I say go. I say go for it too. I say go left shoulder on Schaefer, and that's what he does. Left shoulder, a little bit of a J hook. There's the up and down and cross court. Carlson and Schaefer. Yeah, left for dead somewhere at the technical timeout of come back and now lead 19 to 18 in this second set. Waiting in the wings, Scott Cronick sitting right next to me, along with the, the incomparable John Moran. There's the touch and elevator up, elevator down. Who's that, peek, who's that peeking at my window? Nobody, because I live in a penthouse. Nick has been a blocking machine all day. The score is now 19-19 in this second set. Trying to close out 2-0. The serve. They're going to Ian. Gotta be a shot. Gotta be a Drifter! Shot. Got a net on the follow through. He knows it. And that's match point opportunity number one. I think it hit the antenna too. So I think, but he yeah. netted first. Yeah, he netted on the follow through. Oh, maybe yeah. not. No, he netted on the follow through. Who? Uh, um, Ian. Ian. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is game point right here. Yeah, they're this going right set, back to Ian. match point. I expect them to go back to Ian. I expect them to go left shoulder. There it is. And I expect the set to go to the pin. Wow! There it is. We're in the second set. Forget John Stossel. Forget Barbara Walters. 2020 is right here, south of the pier, Huntington Beach, California. Mr. Roberts. What's up, man? Adam Roberts in the house. Everybody has migra migrated towards the camera, all of my rock stars. The coolest name out of the three of them is Scott Chronic, though. If I ever played volleyball, I would get my name changed legally. <laughs> Alright, it's 21-20. Remember, if they win this, they gotta go. Still gotta go a third set. S second match point here. Match point opportunity number two. I expect Pat Hill to go for it. I think he goes right back to Ian. I think so too. No, I think he goes to Schaefer. And there it is. There's an ace. A much needed serve. Get him out of a tight game situation. Winners. Always, always, always a pleasure to work with you. Yes, my man. Winners, two sets to zero. Pat, Nick, for all of you at home, for my, my man, Coach Dolan, I'm Jason Debellius. They move on to the next round, and we will see you soon. Stay with me, but for now, we're out.